Hello everyone, I'm Ryan. Uh, today's topic is the smart light controlled by the no red. We are going to share with you about the smart light control application, the open platform on the WR322GR-EC. Why we need a no red? What's the no red? Of course, the most important one, how to program on the WR322GR-EC by no red. We will demonstrate the four examples in the today's hands-on. Nowadays, nowadays, smart light control system is a common application in the smart city. Sometimes it comes with the other application like environment sensors we mentioned in the last webinar image the recognition, public safety. We can use the ring architecture to integrate at least the different applications for redundancy based on the different requests. We can choose 4G LTE, MBIoT, or Rollup to collect the data back to our the platform with the one GUI and the network management platform. Back to the smart light control, somehow it's not just turn on or off it. Come with the modern world, the, the light control is becoming more and more fancy and particular. Just like the scheduling or play in the light sympathy. In the, in the Singapore, the Sentosa, we made a test site about a smart light control. As there you can see, we installed the WR series as the LT router here. You can see it. And the edge computer. Of course, now we can use a WR322GR-EC instead. User will like to make the User would like to make the sudden changes of the light. We made a program and they put it in the edge computer here. Then use the LT router to transmit the data. Here, let's have the quick in introduction about the WR322GR-EC. As here you can see, we have a lot of combination for your selection. The single radio, the dual radio for the CAT4 or CAT6. For the SIM card, you can choose the one SIM card with the micro SD or dual SIM card or the eSIM. For the Wi-Fi path, you also can select the 5G AC, 11 AC, or the 2.4G BGN to, trans to, to transmit, uh, to uh, receive the Wi-Fi radio, the speed up to the 866 the megabps, two giga Ethernet ports, routing and bridge mode. C one or two series three in one ports. MIPS, the best process, 7, 700, uh, two, uh, 20, 720 the megahertz the process processor. We, we also support the SD card. The most important one is the no red flow based pro programming, programming. Some users also can use the different tool chain to do the development, just like the GCC, uh, C++. We also support uh, some security like, like OpenVPN, IPSec, HTTP. It's wide temperature and the railway uh, uh, and also the railway certification. We also support MQTT, a public the cloud uh, like Amazon, the Microsoft, and the, our the private cloud server, SimMaster and the Net, uh, NetMaster. This one is the hardware spec. We use the Qualcomm the, uh, processor. 
The OS is the uh, uh, Linux OpenWRT LEDE kernel of 4.4. Also support a, a USB 2.0 Type A to the DDR, uh, DDR2 SD. SD RAM 256 megabit. The storage we we also support the AG AG uh, micro SD and the micro SD extender. Next, this page is about the software architecture of the WR322GR-EC. The OS is the Linux OpenWRT LEDE we just mentioned, kernel is the 4.4. Based on the Linux architecture, we integrate the security database and some APIs in it. And of course, a no red built in this the open platform. And what's the no red? What's the no red? No red is the is a programming tool for the wiring together the hardware devices, API, and the online service in the different ways. It provides the browser-based editor that makes it easy to wire together flows using the wild range of the nodes. In the planet, then can the deploy is a Wrong, wrong time in the, the single click. It's built on the node-jr. And the node-jr is a wrong time environment for the reading the JavaScript. This force you create by the node, by the nodes can, can be import or export by the JSON. Of course, you can get them from the online for the quick development. Node has capability with the portable, no matter where in the local, on your computer, or, or on the devices, or in the cloud. It's also extended your usage. Today, we will do it on the, our the open platform WR322GR-EC. Let's, let's start today's hands-on. The architecture is just like this topology. We will use the Ethernet to connect the data from the wireless devices. In, in the other hand, the line will be controlled to the WR322 by the relay here. We will connect we will connect port 1880 by, by the, the web browser. Then we can do the some logical control by the node red. By this way, the light can be the controlled by the uh, wireless devices. Now, we will show you the how to set up and the, the demonstration of for example. Here, First one is simply turning on off the light. It's, it's the best good operation in the light control application. The second one, the second one is the turning on and off the light repeatedly for the specific purpose. The third one is the how to schedule turning on off the light. In some applications, Users turn on the light in the night in the night and and turn off the uh, and, and turn off it in the daylight. By this demo, we can achieve this purpose. The last one is controlling by the web page. And user cannot always log in the log in no red page to operate this light. We can, we can create the web page and the end user can control from it. It's easier and more user friendly. Let's, let's move 
Let's move to the hands-on parts. The first step is, is to log in the Node page. As you can see, we open the web page and key in the IP of the uh, WR322GR-EC and then the Node port is uh, 1A80. Now you can see the interface of the Node page. In the left hand side, there are a lot of the components. Basically, they are separate into the four usage, input, output, functions, and the others. Each one presents the different the functions and the configurations. We will show you later. For the inputs one, we uh, uh, for for the input ones, they can be they can be the start point of the flow. For the outputs ones, they can be the end end point of the flow. Function ones can be the between the input and output. You also can find the other space usage from the others, just like mobile protocol and uh, some advanced uh, functions. If you stop the uh, cursors on it, there are some the, the there are some hand in uh, there are some highlights that will be showed it up. <clears throat> Move to the central panel. Later, later we will uh, come out of some flows in here. You can draw the some, you can draw some of the components from the left hand side. The view in the right hand side is the showing the <clears throat> no red life status. We can you can check it later. Next, the first demonstration is is turning on off the light. Before, before moving to the no red, please, please let us explain the concept to control the light. In this case, we are using the relay to control the light so that, so that we have to send the system command to change the status of the relay. After receive the system command, the relay will be, will be changed accordingly for this purpose. In this slide, you can see the, the, the command format for the change the relay. We are using the list command echo to do so. One, one means, one means to turn on, zero means turn off. And the last of parameters is the path of the file system on our platform. For other passes, you can, you can refer the user's menu of the EC series. <clears throat> By this command, the relay can be sent to control the line. Back to the no red. With this concept, we can start to draw the flow. <clears throat> First, we draw the inject into the panel. We are making the list one to do the action for the turning on the light. After the double click, we have to fill the payload as the one and the name it as the turn on. The same step for the turn off inject, but set the payload as the zero and then it as the turn off. Then, then the drug then then the drug and excuse to send the system command to change re relay. We have to, to fill the this. Uh, Feel this accordingly, just like the echo and the path.
Of course, don't forget the payload as the parameters. So we, we enable this checkbox. Enable this checkbox. Then link them. Link them together and click deploy it. It means implement this flow into the WR322GR-EC. Then when we when we click turn on, it will change to it will change the relay and you can see the light will be turned on. The light will be turned on. Then with the turn off. The light is turning off. Turn on. Turn off. Okay, let's move to the second demonstration. The second demonstration is the turning on off the light repeatedly. With the previous practice, we also draw the list components into the panel and a double click and a double click the turn on one. Find the repeat field, change to the interval. It means this inject will send the data in each period. Here we say it as a, a, a six second. We we also open the configuration of the turn off, also set it as a six second. However, when turn on and turn off send the data at the same time, the data will uh, conflict with each other so that we met the sound delay in the turn off inject. Here we set we set as the three, three, three second. Then link link them, link them up. The same concept with the previous one and deploy. Here we can see the light will be turned on off repeatedly each in each three seconds. Okay. Next one is schedule is scheduling to turn on off the light. Let's initial them first. The same idea with the second demo. We open the turn on and change the repeat into the at a specific time. Here you can see there are many time options for you. You can pick what you need. And we set the time to the uh, four o'clock 25. And link them up. And then they up and the deploy it. Okay. We, we turn the light first. Okay. Okay. Let's wait, wait to the uh, uh, 25. In here, the time you said have to match your, uh, the time in the in, in the devices. If they, if they don't match, this function doesn't work. Okay, here you can see the light is turning on. Okay, the last one is the how to build up the web page to control the light. Here, here we will show the result first for the easy understanding. Then go to the hands-on. 
we will generate a web page under the uh, list page slash uh, choose in our the devices. Here, we open the list page. By this page, you can control the live status by web. Okay, you can see this page. There are, there are two radio bar buttons. One is turning on, another one is turning off. After click the button, the light will be triggered trigger accordingly. Here you can see the light uh, will be triggered. And then the, uh, another page will be popped out and uh, show the result message. In this way, we can control the light by the friendly way. Back to the no red. First, we are building a new web page in our the devices. We draw the uh, HTTP get from the input session. It will get the parameters from the web page we create later. Then we drop a, a template from the function session. By this component, you can create the uh, you can create the web page under the path slash choose. And we fill the code we have the complete before. You can you can program by the HTML and the JavaScript. As, as here you can see, we create the two radio buttons and the one click button, just like the, what you saw. For the radio button, one is send the value as one. Another one is the zero. Then click button is to send this value out. Okay. Draw another the HTTP response from the output and link them up. By this, we can pop out the web page on the, on the browser. However, by far, we just complete the web interface. The real function is not ready yet. We just mentioned the value will be thrown out after click the button. Then we need we need another HTTP get to receive the this data. So that so that we also use the function to, to decide what string we we are going to show. You can see here. Okay. And uh, and the copy from the previous excuse, we have to pass the ve uh, value to the excuse and uh, link them together. Then we can use this web page to turn to turn on off this line. However, it's not good enough. We also would like to show the final result to the web page. So that we also use the function to decide what string we are going to show. You you see here. So here you can see the pay, the payload, uh, the this payload is one. We will show the okay light on. The payload is zero. 
we show the O, light off. Then we draw another template to display the final result and uh, another the HTTP response to show the name O. Then the flow is complete. Then deploy it. And here we log in this the web page and the click radio button. The light will be turned on or off accordingly. The light is turning on, and here you can see. And here you can see we show the stream okay light on. And we, we're trying to turn the light off. And here you can see, oh, light off. Okay. This is the, uh, this is the today's the hands-on. With the, with the NoRed and the WR322GR-EC, we can do the wireless the applications with the different uh, folks. Today, we just show you the list four demos to show how to control the light by the NoRed. Any question? Okay. This is today's hands-on for the smart light control by the no red. We are glad to share with you about how to build up the list solution. Next time, we will talk about a smart civilian system. Smart civilian system. Smart civilian system. Please register online. We will send you the link later. Thanks for your time to join. See you next time. Bye.